All right, still doing good. I'm going to uh, give you a close up of these and then we will start walking around in the creek and also head down to the pond and see uh, how they do up even higher. So let's take a closer look at the high sea water boot. It is neoprene up top and then down below is rubber and it seems to have a decent bit of tread here on the bottom. My little legs, it's doing pretty good. Uh, it does go up almost to the knee. I have a feeling if I step down one more, it would sink uh, pretty significantly. I'm gonna step down here, and then I'm gonna see what happens if I go a little bit further down. So I'm pretty close to the edge of the boots there. So far, so good. Still waterproof. Yeah, all right, nice. I just stepped up to the top pond here. I think I can walk a little bit more on this spot, just get a little bit deeper than the previous test. Um, so yeah, so far these uh, boots have been totally waterproof. As far as standing in the creek, I think it's gonna be good. I've worn these boots now for three different days out in the water, and I wanted to mention the fit and feel. So the sole is thick enough that I'm not really feeling rocks and things underneath, which is a good thing. The comfortable factor, I definitely uh, have to wear some thicker socks with them. I got maybe one size too big, um, but my foot is known for blistering up fairly easily. So uh, I wouldn't want to do a long distance hike with these, but as far as uh, walking around in the creek, no problem whatsoever and uh, the traction is good enough that I'm not really slipping around. Uh, so everything about them seems to work just fine.